All right, the Loran receiver is put all back together again. We've got the two pedestals. The top trace is the master, and the bottom trace is the slave. Currently, I've selected uh, 40 milliseconds sweep time, and we're on 1850 kilohertz. I'm transmitting the Loran pulses. You can see it there on the SDR. On 1850. So let's see if we can do a timing. So we're going to increase the master gain. You can see the noise floor, and there's a signal there. Right there. I don't want to overload the receiver. There we go. Now let's get this thing framed. I just put it anywhere on the pedestal. Let's increase the slave gain. There's the slave signal. So we're going to adjust the delay to move the pedestal on it approximately. Now we're going to expand the time base. And we're going to get one trace and we're going to get the gains matched. Master and slave. And we're going to just adjust the timing a touch. Frame that here. And they're pretty well coincidental. Let's see here. There. They're exactly coincident. You can prove that. There's the slave, and this one is the master here. That's the master, and this one's the slave. So I've got them exactly the same amplitude. And they're exactly in phase. And what have we got? 4,500 microseconds is the navigation time. And what am I transmitting? 4,500 microseconds within the uh, PRI time, which is uh, half of 40 milliseconds, which is 20 milliseconds. That's why it says 24,500 microseconds. There it is. We've done a navigation fix.